Aloha, beautiful pod, Bliss here. Sharing another potent, powerful transmission on this potent, powerful day. If you think this love stream is going to be inspiring, please share it, that's called gifting. So I did, a, I shared a transmission yesterday and we're gonna call it the MM transmission. And if you wanna catch it, just click the link in the header here, the description box for um, that transmission, the Mary Magdalene transmission, and bringing the truth to the world about what uh, these codes of superabundance are really all about inside of all of us in the world. Um, so lots of information coming in. This is a very big day on the planet for a lot of spiritual traditions. So there's a lot going on on the planet. There's a lot of energy moving inside of all of us in beautiful ways. And we bliss are here to bring what we can to assist our human family to rise in unity consciousness together and have fun at this point in the play, the Miracle Jubilee. So um, just before I started this transmission, the guidance came in to say, like, get prepared uh, a stellar family on the planet because the third waivers are about to wake up and ascend. So if you consider that we have been in an experiment or a play or a container called duality, um, that experiment and that play has been um, completed. And um, my role on the planet was to work with the planetary and cosmic grids and ley lines uh, the indigenous as well and carrying bundles on the grids to basically unplug the consciousness from this lesser akash, this role, this stage that we've been playing this play out on and to plug in the circuitry through the grids to higher ley lines to <clears throat> aspects of this planetary uh, body that we're on for the consciousness to be uplifted. So we are just sharing pieces from our own journey so that others can put together their own pieces right now because like it or not, the masks are clearly coming off and the mask is the little game that each one of we has been playing with ourself uh, by placing a facade over our pure source awareness from pure source consciousness itself. Take what resonates, throw the rest away. If this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting on this day. Okay, so um, yeah, basically the guidance is saying like right now, what we call the third waivers are waking up. So if you think of a field of flowers, a field of poppies or wild flowers, um, all the flowers open up and wake up at different times. And as they do, um, there is their, they bear their existence to the sun. And the sun we can think of as our pure awareness. So that has truly begun. And um, what I will share about today is that there's many on the planet who already have awoken themselves in many ways. And so we have gifts and skills to create teams on the planet to bring forth the way that we decoded ourselves from two-strand DNA. So if you have not heard of this book yet, The Gene Keys by Richard Rudd, go get it or uh, go to genekeys.com and begin with what they have there. And basically what it does is when you fill in your birth information, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to find out your role in the play, the role that you've been playing. And so as we go into the Gene Keys, we get clarity in a way that we start to go like, wait a minute, this book describes me to a T. And then the consciousness starts to awaken and go, maybe I'm not who I think I am. And um, that's where we come into this place of liberty. And so when I first um, started going through my awarenesses that I was not my personality or my role in the play and I found things like the Gene Keys, I literally cried for days. 
because once my consciousness had the confirmation that I was not my personality, I was not my life, I was not my ego, I was not all that suffering, I was not all those things I thought I was, um, there is a lot of release of energy and that's what's happening on the planet right now for many of our human family. So if this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. So my, I'm being guided to come back to the princess line. So on my personal journey, as I share, um, as I've shared many times, I've worked with grids and ley lines, the unplugging of the consciousness from the false patriarch and the plugging back in the grid lines to this great planetary motherboard that is feeding our consciousness that we are part of, um, plugging it back in, hi Miss Bass, um, so that humans can ascend beyond duality and beyond and move forth together in unity into the greater divine plan. And so the, the ley lines that I was guided to go around the world and plug in brought us back to a massive rose quartz crystal bed. The guidance calls it the heart of the dove and uh, for humanity to ascend. So for the indigenous, it's known as Turtle Island. And in my journey, I have been a bundle carrier for uh, different indigenous groups on the planet to carry certain bundles to certain sacred sites and locations at certain times to literally like download the information of those bundles to unlock the, the grids and um, allow the new codex, codices to come in. So I'm just putting out a lot of things here right now and you can just tune into yourself, you can relax into it and see what resonates, throw the rest away. So in the unlocking, if we think of ourselves as working on an old motherboard and we're like unlocking the consciousness from, we dissolve all those attachments to that motherboard and we connect into the new one. And the new one is called Sophia. It is a consciousness that is arising in every cell of every being on the planet and beyond. And it is what we would describe as the consciousness. Some people call it feminine, some people call it love. It is a more expanded consciousness that takes us beyond the belief in separation. And so that's why all the systems are reorganizing themselves on the planet. And every miracle time I was guided to come back to Turtle Island, I would, it was like in the unplugging the grid lines, if you can imagine, it's like disconnecting a hose. And then you drag that hose along and you connect it into another location. And so the location that the cosmos chose is a place that the indigenous call Turtle Island. And really that's North America. So the prophecy of the eagle and the condor unifies the North and the South again. It unifies the polarities. And um, that is what is happening because many grid workers and the cosmos and many interdimensional beings and all of us have been working together on this cosmic plan to unify our beautiful humanity. So the princess lines is something that i've been stewarding since october and before and i'm gonna just share in little bite-sized love streams and so that we can keep sharing more and more and the collective can tune in again and see what resonates through the rest away and simultaneously the prime directive is guiding us in such a way to assist our human family that is just starting to wake up that WTF question inside of the self when nothing makes sense anymore um, is happening to the masses now. And that's why the guidance said today, the third waivers are waking up. And so this is a call out to our galactic cosmic celestial crew who holds codes to share how they unlock themselves from the two strand DNA, which is what <clears throat> Again, this book is all about 64 codons. So when I was brought to this sanctuary space to begin to steward the princess lines, guided by Princess Diana for many miracle years on my journey, 
Um, and I often share and say that Diana came to me in March of 2016 and said, you have no idea what you're doing for humanity. Now I'm gonna show you how to unplug the Nazis from the grids. Nazis means disinformation or misinformation that creates separation. And so it was running rampant in all of the fictional fiction or false narrative that was being pumped to humans through news and media. And that's why social media came along to give the collective a fair chance to start sharing other, other views, other perceptions of what our reality is. And so um, the area that the guidance uh, chosen has chosen and that we choose is these lines called the princess lines that I was brought to, as I say, in October of 2015. Yogananda, uh, Babaji, or White Tara have been my main guides on my journey on the planet, which has brought me to this location where I have been sitting stewarding these ley lines for many miracle months in unity, in the codes of Sophia, in um, peace and love and harmony and balance so that that field can emanate out for everything and everyone. Many of us on the planet have been doing the same thing from many different locations. These princess lines are key. And the day that I walked into this garden, I felt a tap, tap, tap from Yogananda telling me that I would be staying here on these princess lines because the guidance has always said, the city of LA will be the first to wake up. And of course it's happening all over the planet. And what the guidance said is first LA, then New York, then Paris, then London, then Cairo, then the Nilotic Meridian, which runs all the way down Africa, then Australia, then Peru. Um, so a lot of my journey was with the rainbow serpent lines as many know Dron Velo's rainbow serpent of the light his journey was too. My journey was to restore the feminine rainbow serpent line and um, that's what brings me here to this place today and to begin to share with our human family about these princess lines that I've been stewarding in such a way that the guidance says is bringing in has already, it happened in December, um, we were greeted by a massive Pleiadian ship that brought through the codes into the grids to create the largest cosmic Pleiadian communications network for peace, which is happening. And part of that is to help share this transmission, which helps people to transcend these codes of two-strand DNA called the ego in a very efficient way. So I offered a retreat once I moved into this sanctuary space and it was called the Princess Lines. And the Princess Lines gave us all the codes to transcend the metaverse in such a way that we can take this book and finally throw it over our shoulder, burn the book on two strand DNA and move forth into cosmic consciousness in a shortcut kind of way. So what was awesome was after the guidance came in with the decodes of the metaverse and the metatronic blueprints and showing that all of these things are still bound by the metaverse, the guidance came into the transmission of the princess lines and decoded it all so that the consciousness can return to pure source. And it was so phenomenal because days later, Facebook changed their name to Meta. And in linear time, the guidance would say, we actually got there first. And we created the way, the path home to the stars for all humanity through these princess lines. And that's what we are stewarding right now. So if this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. Like I say, I'm just going to be sharing in these little um, sweet, containers of sharing these codices in such a way that one can just receive them, you can share them on your page or share them with your friends and family if they resonate and start to have those little light bulbs go off um, to help understand why nothing might make sense anymore in our lives and everything that we have to look forward to. It's called the Miracle Jubilee we are all on the same team. I posted a song by a group called Lord, called Team. Wait till you're announced 
we have not lost all our graces. The hounds will stay in chains. Look up at your greatness as she sends the call out. This is the day. She is sending the call out. So check out that song and join me for another one of these transmissions. In every way, please share. We love we. If you want to support these transmissions, we put the PayPal right there and it is the miracle coordinate for the unification of our entire human family regardless of what role anyone has been playing the gig is up she sent the call out today so go check out the lyrics of that song i'm certain that song was written for me and um i will share more about my journey piece by piece with all of we we love we aloha